Legislators uh, who helped make this possible. First, uh, I'd like to ask Representative Vin Candelora to come up and say a few words. Um, before I served as Comptroller, uh, Vinny and I represented the town of Guilford together. And while we came from different parties, you'd never know it because we worked together each and every day on behalf of that community and did a lot of work together on other issues too. And so um, when this fund was created in 2023 and there wasn't a lot of meat on the bones, uh, my first call was to Vinny to say, hey, let's get together and do what we've done before and figure this out and, and make it work. And uh, we did that. We did a lot of meetings. Uh, and then this year, the legislature codified that into law, which is what the governor has signed today. Uh, but this would not have happened without Representative Candelora uh, bringing it to the attention, proposing the bill to begin with, uh, and then working with my office uh, to make sure that we got this policy right uh, for that terrible uh, event that we have to use it. So, Representative Candelora. Thank you, Controller Scanlon, and thank you, Governor Lamont, for having this ceremony to call attention to this piece of legislation. You know, all too often, We've heard, we see on the news nationally of our police officers being killed in the line of duty. Um, when it hit home in Bristol, I think it was very personal for a lot of us who uh, knew those families that were impacted. And, and after the tragic event occurred, we saw the aftermath of, of how the families were trying to pick up the pieces. And that was sort of the, the genesis of how can the state of Connecticut step up uh, and do something different. Uh, we know our local law enforcement um, always pull together and always help each other out. They're like family. But what could the state of Connecticut do? And that was how the Fallen Officers Fund was born. Um, and I do want to uh, thank Representative uh, Controller Scanlon, uh, because when we did put it in the budget, we didn't have a lot of language to it. We knew the concept of it. Uh, but the controller really looked at it and said, how can we help? You know, not just write a check, but what pressures can we take off of the families? And that um, started the conversations with the police, pr Bristol Police Departments uh, to come up with this concept of not just providing potentially financial assistance, but also providing health care to families who so tragically can abruptly lose a breadwinner in a family, but then also have that, that chain effect of, of losing health care to their family as, all, as well. So it's just one small step for us, I think, to take uh, to try to provide support to our officers, to let them know the state of Connecticut is here for you uh, in tragedy. If, if the unthinkable happens, Connecticut will have your backs. Thank you.